in the south of Florida, looking at Topher's beautifully polished Mojo Sphere. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. This is what's going to go into the car that we are installing, the car cell that we're installing in the, the Land Rover. Beauties. Never seen such a good polishing job. All right, so here we got our beautiful shiny Mojo. It's sealed at the bottom. I enlarged the 3 of an inch hole that the Mojo Kit 4 comes with to a 3 8 3 8 of an inch in order to bring the, the cathode bolt, the negative bolt, out the bottom, sealed it up with goop, as you can see. That'll be beautifully sealed. There ain't no water coming out of there. I will seal around this hemisphere. And the reason why we're doing this is because we're gonna we're gonna go vacuum. In order to go vacuum, you can't have the negative coming out through the top, so you need to have it going out through the bottom. All right, the Mojo car cell has been installed and sealed at the bottom. Seal, I had to seal this hole as well because we want to make a vacuum. And what we're going to be doing now is, as you can see, this we will be sealing this around with goop and placing this over the one-inch hole. So we've got a coupling, a copper coupling, that is going to take the energy uh, that is an electrical connection with the cell. And we're going to seal this up right here, and that's going to carry the energy all along the tube into the car, and I'll show you what we're, we've done in the car itself. All right, what we've done is we've, we, there was one uh, tube like this in the air intake on both sides. We took it off, and we cut other pieces of rubber put it on a T coupler and this is where we're going to install the cell the tube on this side from the cell we have a piece of uh, aluminum um, bolt which is like this material and we've threaded it into this part of the T to carry and to bounce the uh, orgone energy from the cell towards the engine so this is our connection here and so when, yeah this is this, this side when we're ready, we're going to apply the, the tube here and make sure it's sealed. And we're going to have an electrical connection all the way from the cell to this piece of aluminum that will carry energy all the way in here but will not touch, obviously, the block the engine head as for not to, so we don't short the cell out. We have a nice space in here. This is, um, this is a, a Land Rover, a 2001 Land Rover. We've got a nice space here for the Mojo. Perfect angle to bring the um, the tube up, and it's a V8 2001 Discovery. All right, here we see the Mojo car kit hooked up into its beautiful little space, uh, sitting on a rubber gasket. We're gonna run an elastic over. We need to, once we have the tube there, it will keep it the tube coming out here. It'll keep it nice and firm on the gasket. The gasket is just connected with a little metallic brace here in the back. It's not that fancy, but it's going to do the job just fine. Then we have our positive coming through wired to a switch right here. And then we will apply it to the positive right there in the battery. We got the negative coming from underneath the cell running right here wire. We're going to hook it up right to here, which is beautifully connected electrically to the negative right there. So we're all set for the next step. All right, so I'm coming, reporting to you live from underneath the Land Rover. This is the catalytic converter right here. This is one of the front oxygen sensor cluster wires. There's four of them there, and in, in this particular model, we're looking for the, the signal wire to hook up the uh, Cell Guardian oxygen department communicators, <laughs> fancy name there, to this and also the one on the other side. And there's also two in the back. This is the one in the back that you can see right here. And we've already stripped one. So we'll be hooking up the two, two. the two back. We've stripped both. We'll be hooking those two together. And we'll be hooking the two ones in the front together as well. All right, there's, there's the front ones on one side. And Topher is showing all the four wires. We're gonna, the, the, the black one is the signal wire. So we're going to strip that now. We are looking at the rear oxygen sensors behind the catalytic converters. We have hooked the black wire up to the other black wire. And now we're running the singular wire up above the drive shaft and up into the engine bay. 
where we will connect that with our cell yeah, supervisor. <laughs> and you can see cell guardian. Cell guardian. There we go. And we are using 18 gauge wire for these for this purpose. Here we have the cell hooked up into the car, finally installed all of the connections. The positive is going to the cell guardian, which in turn is connected to the positive terminal. The negative of the cell is right here, along with the connection with the, the cell guardian here as well. Both oxygen sensors, as you see them here, are connected with the, the oxygen sensor purport, portions, and we have here where we could adjust the sensors to lean out the fuel if we have to. And there's a beautiful connection with the, the car air intake. This is so beautiful. It looks like it belongs in this car. It just fits so nice. Very happy about this. All right, we just hooked it to the cell and already, the, I'm literally 30 seconds ago and we started the car. We hooked it to the car, I mean. And already the idle is dropping. You can hear it, it's idling very low. But it keeps decreasing, the idle keeps decreasing. The cell guardian is definitely talking to the oxygen sensors. So this is very exciting to have the cell, which we just installed a second ago, actually influencing the engine idle. We'll tune in soon again. All right, here's the water. We just emptied the mojo that's been in the car for around a week. And we've driven at least uh, close to a hundred miles with it and it's really clean it's it was still charged you get to see the bubbles when they poured out and it doesn't smell at all so this setup setup's pretty good and this was on the vacuum air intake so there's no uh, gasoline coming through the intake to the uh, cell at all hey folks what you're seeing here is the mojo installed into the passenger floor the reason why we did this is because we were having a major problem in shandy mode uh, using the cell guardian with overheating in the engine block which was heating up the cell but it's totally solid I have the bolt going through the floor and it is screwed up on the bottom and this is so solid it's so beautiful I'm just gonna follow the hose through the firewall here and into the engine compartment there she is there she's coming through the firewall tracing it up to the vacuum intake that's it, that's all. I got all the wiring still in place and uh, we're a go.